This episode of Motorhead Garage is packed bumper to bumper. But Sam and Dave really come through in the clutch. You really got me all set up, hey, don't you? Hey, I'm, I'm your best friend. You know that, don't you? little bit noisy in there. That's gone. That's shot. Hey, welcome to another edition of Motorhead Garage. Well, you can see Sam and I are busy at work right under this 2005 Dodge Diesel. And I tell you what, these things are a real workhorse, aren't they? Oh, yeah. This is a very early 05. It's got a new Venture six-speed in it. Guy works it hard. It's always loaded. Always got a trailer behind it. The clutch finally gave up. Well, they always do over a period of time, so you have to replace them. And that's what we're involved doing right now is replacing this. But we've got a real expert here from AMS, and I want to introduce you to him. He's going to show you some options that you have with these trucks. Now, folks, I want you to meet Chris Habel here, who is a real clutch expert, and you're from AMS, and you've brought several different options here for this particular truck. Tell me what we got. Well, what we have here is the dual mass flywheel, which was the original equipment for the 2005 to 11, uh, 5, 9, and 6.7 diesels. Um, it, dual mass flywheel is a two-piece flywheel, spring-loaded. Um, purpose of it was to dampen the torsions from the diesel engine to the transmission. But that's changed. The industry has changed now, hasn't it? Absolutely. One of the, the things that we've come out with is a solid conversion kit for those. And I've got a Generation 1 conversion kit, Generation 2 conversion kit. Okay, what's the difference on this one now? Well, on the Generation 1 conversion kit, when you had the dual mass flywheel in the vehicle, they had an adapter plate uh, that mounted between the crankshaft and the dual mass flywheel. Um, the Generation 1 flywheel, we, we've machined so that adapter plate can be used. You'll notice the, the holes on the top right. of the flywheel. Um, as time has gone on in the market, we found out that a lot of these dealers um, are losing the adapter plates or inadvertently the it's adapter tossing plate them, right? gets tossed for one reason or another. It's the extra part I don't need. Exactly. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and we've machined into the, the engineering of the flywheel that adapter plate. So we have our generation two where you won't have to use that adapter plate. And that plate. takes the vibration out of it. Now, for the guys out there who really want to jack up the horsepower on these things, and they do. Yes. So you've got an extra high performance unit here. This is a dual clutch, right? Absolutely. This is a dual disc uh, conversion kit uh, designed to replace the dual mass flywheels. But what you'll notice on this, on the discs, they have ceramic buttons on the center plate sides, and they have organic buttons on the pressure plate, plate and the flywheel sides. And what that does is that allows for much smoother engagement. So these guys that have turned up the turbos or hauling heavy loads, uh, this is much smoother of an engagement. In All right, so what this. you brought for us today, though, is the Rhino Pack. This is a total package right here. Has everything you need, all the bolts, even the alignment tool. Absolutely. That's good, because Sam is going to need that. <laughs> Let's get back to work into okay. here. Okay. Right, now, one of the first things I've done here is I washed the inside of the bell housing, got it nice and clean. This truck's already been, had a clutch put in it already. They didn't do that, and there's reasons you want to do it. First off, you've got the input shaft here, you've got the cover where the release bearing rides. The release bearing is bad in this truck. You want to make sure that there's no big grooves or anything on that because if it's grooved and it hangs up, you're going to get poor engagement. You could get clutch slip. You overwork the hydraulic system. Now we're going to put a little lube on it. Here's our new release bearing. Keep that in the package so you're ready to use it. And you want to make sure it moves nice and, and easy up here. Now this is clean, hasn't been greased yet. No, it's not coming all the way up to the front. It just moves this much. Okay, so that's where our new release bearing is going to go. Also, you have a fork that goes in here, and it pivots on this thing, and the hydraulic slave pushes against it. This fork is pretty worn. AMS has those available. One of the things you really need to look at is, on the input shaft, this goes into the pilot bearing. Now, this truck originally had a pilot bearing that's a needle bearing. This is the little alignment tool you get in the kit. You compare these two and you can see this has got a little bit of wear on it. It's not bad, but the needle roller pilot bearing, by the way, goes in the flywheel, not in the crankshaft, which is really handy. AMS has a nice replacement flywheel. It's got a bushing in it. You know, it's like a bronze bushing, bronze brass bushing. That allows you to have a little bit of wear or something on this, and it's very forgiving where the needle bearing is not. And I can show you the worn components we have here. So we'll clean this up good. Put a little bit of 
high temp grease on it, not a lot, just enough to lubricate this and where the release bearing goes, and we'll be in good shape. If you look here, this is the flywheel I took out of it, and here's our pilot bearing. And this pilot bearing is just all jammed up, it's dry. There's no way to lubricate these things, so that's junk. That needs to be replaced. Putting on the new AMS flywheel will have a bushing in it. The release bearing, I mean, that's as rough as a cob. It was dirty, there was no lube on it, and consequently, put a lot of wear right there on the fork. And this is a big, rugged fork. That's not too bad. You're spending all this money, AMS has all these parts available. Go ahead and change it. So I'll lube this and get ready to put it together. Hey, buddy, you got that all lubed up? Uh, yeah, I'm putting this fork on right now, and I'll be ready for that flywheel. All right. Well, we brought this flywheel in. We're going to install that. In the meantime, we're going to take a short break. Stay with us. Okay. Hey, welcome back to Motorhead Garage. Well, it's time to put in the flywheel. And believe me, they don't make these things light. All right, buddy, you ready? It's a big flywheel. You need some help? No, I got it. I got it up here. All right. Get it up there on the flange. There you go. Hold on here. Okay. I'm just guiding. All right, now, what we got to do... Put a couple bolts in it. Do you see a line up there? I can't see. I don't see. think... Hold on here. You got tall enough. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, I think I got to rotate this around. Try it now. Got one in there? Yes, sir. All right, so we can get a couple more. And if we do that, we'll be in business. The one thing you don't want to let this thing do is fall off. Well, I'd, <laughs> Not I'd get, here. I, I would get out of the way. Hey, you're good, man. All right, let's go ahead and put the rest of the bolts in there. Yep. When you do this, you want to put some blue Loctite on there, or blue thread sealer. Put that on there, and then you torque these up. Right, and the thread locker really does a good job. I've coated all these bolts, and again, use the blue stuff or the purple stuff. Don't use the red. The red's a little bit too aggressive, especially if you want to take it apart. You don't want to take advantage of uh, breaking the end of the threads in the crankshaft. Also, by the way, I cleaned up all behind the flywheel. This is a perfect time before you put a flywheel up to look at the rear main bearing oil seal in the crankshaft. This was dry as a bone. Struck's in nice shape. Oop. The torque will be between 100 and 105 foot-pounds of torque. And you can go up in three stages, 35, 40 foot-pounds, 60, 70 foot-pounds, and then torque it from there. All right. That way you'll get it nice and even. All right, I got it. Uh, got them in? Yeah. The nice part about these diesels is you're not going to turn the crankshaft. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't need anybody to help you on that one, do you? No. Okay, buddy. All right. You got that? I got it. There you go. I think you got it, buddy. Yep. Let me check. How many more do you want to check? I think I got them all done. I just went over oh, there. See, I knew there was one I hadn't gotten. There we go. There you there go. There we go. All right, you done now? Yep, absolutely. All right. All right, now I've got the flywheel all torqued in three stages. I want to clean up any fingerprints, make sure there's no grease on it. And here you can get a really good look at the bronze bushing that's in there for the pilot bushing. I'm going to tell you, the uh, AMS Rhino Pack flywheel it comes complete, ready to go. And those are new fasteners. Do not use the flywheel to crankshaft flange bolts over. Some of them are torqued to yield. Always put new bolts. Here you go, bud. Okay, let me get this off. You really got me all set up, hey, don't you? Hey, I'm, I'm your best friend, you yeah, know that, don't you? a lot of work you? today, I can tell. Watch your eyes. Okay, all right, now the next thing we're going to do is we'll take out our clutch. We got a Rhino Pack clutch from AMS Automotive. Comes in this nice box. Now, it comes complete. What you get is not only a new throwout bearing, but a uh, pilot bearing as well. Even the clutch alignment tool, which is really nice. I'll there you that. go, Sammy. Now we want to do this. It's got the uh, instructions that come with it. If you need those, and it also has a hotline number on the packing, so it's easy to get in touch with these guys if you have any technical questions. All right, here's the uh, clutch. Here is the clutch plate. Here you go, bud. Now when you put a clutch plate in, you want to have your hands clean. And there's usually sometimes they're marked like this is a flywheel side. That prevents you from putting the clutch in backwards. Take your alignment tool, which comes in the, the kit, and it is a complete cut clutch kit. Everything you need. Put this in here like so. Bang. Anyway, I got no fingerprints on it. Everything's nice and clean. 
the clutch disc is the line. You want to do that when you bolt the clutch up, because when you put in that big gearbox, you want that input shaft to be able to go slide right through the splines and nicely into the pilot bushing. Okay. All right, buddy. <clears throat> okay, let's see if we can get this thing a line some way. Let me rotate this around. All right, put a bolt in there. Yep. A lot of times you'll find these flywheels have alignment dowels, and some of these Dodges, there are no, no alignment dowels. The, uh, the clutch cover has got holes for it if you should need it. And by the way, they were using the, move your finger there, we're using the original clutch cover to flywheel bolts. That's what you need to do. And they're gonna torque to about 35 foot pounds of torque. And you don't wanna torque these too tight. Here you go, There's a couple bolts for that side. All right. Okay, now we got our pressure plate all torqued on here. We'll pull out our alignment tool. And we're in business. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we got a lot more here on Motorhead Garage, so stick with us. Motorhead Garage, presented by ARP, coming to you from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage. Well, you know, we put in a nice clutch assembly, a flywheel. We did everything right. One of the things these Dodges have is a hydraulic clutch. It's a slave cylinder on the side of the transmission. It's not one of those concentric ones on the release bearing. And they work pretty hard, and the factory ones weren't great. Particularly if you do an upgraded clutch, you want to change it out so you have good pedal feel. And if you change from a dual mass clutch, there's a dimensional difference, so you need longer stroke. They make a kit. The whole thing is the master, the line, and the slave cylinder. I'm going to start under here on bolting. It's pretty easy. Two bolts, two retaining bolts, and a clevis pin on the clutch pedal. And I'll get this out. You just reach under here, and you start with the screwdriver. You get this little guy going. Once you get it moving out like that, you can take a pair of needle nose pliers, get a hold of it, pull it out like that, and here's your clutch pedal disconnected from your clevis. Now these two retaining bolts, and we're out. All right, all I have to do is take these two retaining bolts out, and this master cylinder will come off. Let's see what Davey's got to show us. Okay, here's what we're going to replace, what Sam just took out. This is what we're talking about here, Chris. Tell me a little bit about this now. This is the whole system, isn't it? That's correct. This is a, a complete pre-bled hydraulic system. It includes the master cylinder, the connecting line, and the slave cylinder. And you got your reservoir up here. Absolutely. So what, what we've seen over the last several years is, is a migration towards folks wanting to replace pre-bled systems mm -hmm. as opposed to doing individual slave or master. Cuts the time down from an hour and 15 minutes to as little as 15 minutes. Couple of bolts under the firewall, snap into position, another bolt onto the side of the transmission and you're, you're done and good to go. This makes it a lot easier and again, only takes just a few minutes to do it and you don't have to worry about bleeding it or anything like that. So this is the way to go. Absolutely. All right, well, let me give this to Sam. Here you go, buddy. I heard my name. You got it. There you go. You're going to make me do this whole thing, aren't you? Well, it'll take you five minutes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> anyway, Chris, we want to thank you for stopping by. And I tell you what, if you want to bring a bunch of stuff from AMS next week, bring it on. We'll put it on the show. I'll we'll, do that. We'll do some installations. We'll fix some things. Thank you. All right, buddy. Thanks so much. Hey, we got a lot more coming here on Motorhead Garage. Stick around.